Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to drag and drop files in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments that you can play. You can get started with opening up the audio recorder and so on. So let's go ahead and see how we can drag and drop files that we already have on our iPhone into GarageBand. The first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and open up audio recorder right here. It works the same if you open up any of the instruments it's going to open up the same menu this is the recording menu right here where you can get started recording at the top of the screen you can find all the packs you want to add and so on so guys this is how to add files what you want to do is go right here into your upper left corner and click on edit mode by clicking edit mode it's going to open up this mixing mode right here where we can find all the tracks that we can access and now we can get started with adding files by clicking the button right here in the upper right corner that has now appeared that is going to enable us to get started with adding files so as you can see, we have two options. We have the Apple Loops and the File section. And if you open up Files, as you can see right here at the bottom of the screen of the menu, it says Browse Items from the Files app. So you want to click on Browse Items. And here you can get started with selecting any of the MP3 files that you have that you can go ahead and add to your GarageBand. So after selecting the files, they are going to appear right here, as you can see. And what you can do is go ahead and drag on them and drag them wherever you want to add them to your music. But yeah, guys, basically that is how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye